Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea reading on behalf of the Loveland Public Library. This is our first of our special virtual story times for uh, February and Black History Month. So we're gonna be reading Coretta Scott King award-winning books for illustrations with special guest readers. Hi, friends. Hi. And, <laughs> um, and then we'll have a craft that goes along with the book, a different craft every week. So this is our friend, Noelle. You're on our library board. Yes, I am. Hey. And Noelle will be reading a story to us. The Me I Choose to Be. Written by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley. Art by Regis and Karan Bethencourt. Some may think they know who I am, but here's what you must understand. My creativity and curiosity flow without end. And if I meet an obstacle, I just begin again. I am a planet, a limitless galaxy, and I am the me I choose to be. I am hope passed down through generations. I am a bridge builder connecting people and nations. I am a weaver of words that quickly take flight and stretch into stories fluttering off into the night. I am a conjurer, imagining realms that aren't yet there. I'm a maker, a creator, shaping a new world we all can share. My creativity and curiosity flow without end. And if I meet an obstacle, I just begin again. I am a planet, a limitless galaxy, and I am the me I choose to be. I am joyful as a bubbly rushing river. I am sad as a trickling tear. I am a tiny bird watching the world from afar. I am a friend who loves to be near. And there's something else about me, maybe harder to see. I am not that cool. I don't always know what to say, or and every so often I go the wrong way. Sometimes it seems I have two left feet, but that just means I'm a free spirit. I move to the rhythm of my own heartbeat. I am a star dancing across the night sky. I am the night sky unnoticed as stars fly by. It's hard not to care when people pretend you aren't there. But then I remember. My creativity and curiosity flow without end. And if I meet an obstacle, I just begin again. I am a planet, a limitless galaxy, and I am the me I choose to be. I am a superhero, yet unnamed. I am laughter that falls like rain making room for joy to grow. I am a gardener, planting dreams the world will know. I am wind, with the strength to bend trees. I am light, traveling the universe with ease. I am the winding road to a fantastic adventure. I am a home where love lives at the center. I am all these things and more you see because I am the me I choose to be. Thank you so much. I love that book. I love those illustrations, those photography in that book. It's amazing. The craft that we have for this week, you can pick it up at the library, is really simple. What I want you to do is I want you to um, make a self-portrait. One of our goals of um, anti-bias education is that you can learn to describe yourself in positive language and learn to describe others in positive language as well. And in order to do that, we need to be able to look at ourselves. So each of our bags will have paper in it, it will have these crayons so you can accurately portray what you look like. And then you can use anything that you find around the house to make your self-portrait. So I used some yarn for my hair because I want other people to know that other people helped make me who I am. Mostly my mom sewed a lot of stuff and she helped make me who, my, who I am. I have wings so I can soar above things when they get really hard. 
I have a balloon heart because my heart soars when I look at all of you. It just swells and gets bigger. So I and stars in my eyes because I love all working with all of you. You all make me happy. So if you could send a, a, your self-portrait, then my email is in the bag and we'll put those on social media. Our friends need us to get going. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.